Hi everyone, back here again for another video. If you have been in my channel, you will know that I'm an iPad only user. I manage my personal life and my YouTube channel just with my iPad. However, I'm a regular person who has a day job and I have no choice but to use a Windows 10 laptop. To make it more enjoyable, I use my Logitech K380 when I work instead of typing on my laptop's keyboard. I have loved using my Logitech K380. In fact, I have been using it for over four years. So today, let's see some keyboard shortcuts using the Logitech K380 keyboard on a Windows laptop. For me personally, I love these keyboard shortcuts as it makes me type faster and I feel more efficient and productive when I end up using my mouse a bit lesser. It's just faster in my opinion. There are many, many shortcuts out there, but I will only cover here my favorite ones that I use every day at work. First of all, this is not a keyboard shortcut, but I'd like to mention I love the Windows key, or in the K380, it's the Start key. I love this because it is like my spotlight search when I'm in my iPad. I can do so much with just the Start key. I simply click on it and I can start typing to search for anything, whether it's my files or apps or even to change some of my laptop settings. I highly suggest using this as it is faster than dragging your mouse and clicking on the file explorer, for example, and scrolling through tons of folders trying to find where your file is. Here I click on the start key and I type a keyword of my file and I can easily get to it. Or when I need to change some laptop settings, I avoid the struggle of clicking through many settings and options. For example, the services settings. Yes, I can go there by doing control alt delete and go to the task manager and then click on the services tab. But why go through all those steps when I can simply click on the start key and type services as the keyword and I can get directly to it. I find this very useful as it just takes seconds compared to what can take like minutes when using the mouse. Now let's go to the shortcuts for web browsers. Not sure about you guys, but for me, I'm working mostly inside a website. So when working inside Microsoft Edge, if you don't have it open yet, remember, use the start key. I simply type the keyword Edge, and even if I haven't finished typing it, it will suggest me apps or files with such text. Once I'm in Edge, I can go to the address bar by Control plus L. Or alternatively, I can also do Alt plus D. This will highlight and select the URL in the address bar to be edited. This shortcut can also be used when I'm in Google Chrome. Another option, I can do Ctrl plus K to do a search on the address bar. Now with the more improved browsers, I can do my web searches right on the address bar and I don't necessarily need to go and search for Google first and then do the search inside Google. Next, if I want to open a new tab to go to another website, I can use Ctrl plus T. Again, this shortcut works on both the Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome. And if I want to open a new window, not a tab, I can do Ctrl plus N. Again, either on Edge or Chrome. Also, either opening a new tab or window, the cursor is automatically on the address bar, so I can immediately type what I need to open or search. If I want to duplicate a tab, I can do Ctrl, Shift, and K. This is handy for me as I usually work on many instances of a website, example, Confluence, where one is me editing a page and the other is for reference. If I want to close a tab, I can simply do Ctrl and W. And if I close a tab by mistake, 
I can bring it back by simply doing Control Shift plus T and that page will reopen. So again, to open a new tab is to do Control and T. Once I have multiple tabs open, I can easily switch between tabs and I try not to use my mouse for this. First, I can do Control and Tab to go to the next tab. Or if I want to go to the previous tab, I do Control, Shift and Tab. To jump to a specific tab, this again is the same in Chrome and in Edge, I can use Control plus one, two or three until number eight. And that is to go directly to those tabs. Of course, it's according to the sequence. This is very similar to the iPad where the only difference is instead of Control in the iPad, I use Command key. I can do Control nine to go to the last open tab, even if I have more than nine tabs open. Unfortunately though, I haven't found a way to go directly then to tabs number nine, 10, 11, and so on. If you know the shortcut, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, again, I can do control tab to move to those tabs without using the mouse. Next, in a current web page, and if I want to go back to a previous page, let's say I Google the word and I click on a result, but I want to go back to Google, I can do Alt plus arrow left to go back to the previous page. And obviously, to go back to the other page, use Alt and arrow right key. Now let's see some of my favorite shortcuts when navigating within my laptop. The most famous one, which I hope you're also using, is the Alt plus the Tab key, which is to switch between my open apps. Here I can say the mouse might be useful too, because if the app I want is at the end, it will take me a few clicks of the using the Tab key before I get to that app. So by doing Alt plus Tab, I use my mouse to click on the app and it will open. If I want to close a window, Let's say here the Fire Explorer on the K380 keyboard, I can do Alt function plus F4. But if you download the Logitech Options app, you can configure the function keys to work as function keys. Just tick this option down below. Now, if I want to resize the open app I have now on the screen, I can do the shortcut start and then arrow left or right. This is to move it to this one side and will basically be on one half of my screen. Then this will open on the other half of the screen, the other apps that I can choose to open on the opposite side. I can use my mouse or use the arrow keys and hit enter and I will have a split screen of two different windows or apps. Using the start and arrow left and right keys can give you different sizes of the windows. Or using the start key can also make your window to be on full screen. Using the start and arrow down can minimize the screen. I can also do the same by dragging the top of the window and bring it to either right or left side. And when I hold it and release it, then I will see this square borders. And then I can choose the other apps to open on the opposite side. So hope this video helps you know more shortcuts to maximize your K380 keyboard and be more efficient when working or studying with the Windows PC or laptop. I have more shortcuts to share with you guys in future videos, so stay tuned. And that's it. Thanks for watching.